There's a reason we have a nation of math traumatised kids in schools. One of them is it, math tends to be taught in a very dry, boring way, lots of procedures to memorise, which we know isn't a good way to learn math. But also, we're, teachers have been under a terrible testing regime, for, particularly in the last 10 years, where they feel they have to prepare students for these tests and there's no time to go into depth or enjoy math. You just have to keep going through. So what we do know is if teachers don't um, teach to the test and they really let go of those ideas that I've got to prepare students for these tests and they have students enjoy math and go into depth, their kids do much better even on those tests. So I don't know how many years it will take for us to free up the testing regime in the States. Um, it's not good for kids learning but um, we do know that the very best ways to teach math and the very best ways to parent with math are to have kids enjoy it, to feel confident, to work in depth. Um, one of the amazing findings from neuroscience is that speed should never be associated with math or math should never be associated with speed. Um, we know that now know that math facts are held in the working memory part of your brain and when you feel under pressure the me working memory is blocked and ca we can't access math facts. So what do we do to kids in schools? Time tests, flashcards. Um, we know that time tests are the early onset of math anxiety for a lot of kids and particularly girls. So we've had a big movement through UCube that was picked up actually by the national press to let's dial back pressure, time, we don't even need them memorizing times tables. What we want them is uh, what we want is students understanding in depth, um, feeling that they can move at any pace. Mathematicians, I know a lot of mathematicians, and they're some of the slowest math thinkers I know because they think in depth about math. So it's kind of ironic that we have these great mathematicians who think slowly and deeply, and then in schools we're communicating to kids that if they're not fast, then they can't be good at math.